Hello, this is Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies. Welcome to our pepper educational series here on our YouTube channel called Peppers 101. If you want to learn about peppers, we're going to have over 120 videos up on 2023. All of them giving you information on chilies you may not know, giving you information about chilies you don't know about. And uh, that's the goal. So subscribe and hit the bell notification so when a new chili video comes up every few days, there'll be a new one premiering for the remainder of the year, you will be notified and you can learn about more chilies. And we are hoping that you will be inspired and encouraged to grow more chilies, cook with more chilies, eat and share more types of chilies. It's about flavor, folks. I know it's about heat, but it's also mainly about flavor. If you don't like the taste of something, you're not going to eat it, are you? So with that being said, like the video. It helps us with YouTube so more people find us. And uh, share it, of course, so more people find us. And uh, here's time for the public service announcement, which you're going to hear on almost every video. So plug your ears if you don't want to hear this. Please get your children involved in the garden. Get them involved in the garden. Get them involved. You can start when they're real little. That's great. But if it's a teenager, it's not too late. It's not too late because you'll be spending time with your child. You'll be spending actual time with them instead of just handing them an electronic device and saying, see you later at dinner time. Maybe. Maybe not even at dinner time. Maybe your kids eat in the room by themselves. We lack that interaction with, between our family members. We lack it. And it and it's shows how society is not doing too well because the family used to do a lot of things together in the past when we didn't have electronic devices and distractions. So get your children out into the garden. Start with them as little young as possible. Let them see the miracle of a seed sprouting, growing into a full-size plant, producing fruits or vegetables, and then take it another step further and bring them into the kitchen and uh, prepare the food and cook with them. And then both of you, or all of you who are in the kitchen together, could be mom, dad, and your couple children, could serve the meal to the rest of the family. Or even better, to someone in need that you know, someone who's disabled or uh, elderly. Just don't, set, just don't feed them a super hot pepper meal because that might, you know, that might be the last meal you serve them for a long time. They might not welcome you to come bring them food anymore. But you know what? When you cook, when you, when you grow something in the garden from seed, and you, you make that into a delicious food, and then you serve that to others. That's love, man, that is love. That's dedication and love. It'll build your child's confidence, self-confidence and character. I'm just saying, folks, don't let your children miss out on this. Before you know it, they'll be growing up and gone. So start a garden, get your children involved and get them involved in the kitchen. With that being said, let's look at this chili here. This is the Ahi Kachucha Purple Splotched. We originally got seeds from my friend Scott, who got them from, I believe, Julio Lopez in Puerto Rico. This is a chili that grows in Puerto Rico. The Kachuchas are all through of the Caribbean islands, and some of them are called the Dulcis, Dulce, D-U-L-C-E, or Dulce, uh, not D-O-L-C-E, D-U-L-C-E. And they're considered seasoning peppers because they're, they have a sweetness like a habanero, but they don't have the heat. And they're used in seasoning and cooking. This is the Ahi Kachucha Purple Splotched. Now, I filmed this video earlier this year. I'm going to delete it, and this is going to be the video that replaces it. Because, last, because I, didn't, I didn't show you the purple splotching because I didn't see it on the peppers. And sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't. So... When they're green, they'll get a little bit of purple splotching on them, as you see here. And that's why they're called Ahi Kachucha Purple Splotched. There is a smaller pepper that resembles this in shape, called the Ahi Kachucha from Cuba, which just goes green to red. So these will sometimes go get a little bit of purple splotching on them. Here's another one here. See the little bit of purple highlights or splotching? And then they turn red. Now, we're harvesting today. 
And you see that one's got a little bit of an orange highlight on the top by the stem. And then they eventually ripen to red. So they have a sweetness, fruitiness to them, but not overpowering fruity, sweet, like, um, uh, like your bigger peppers, your bigger stuffing roasting peppers that are ju super, super juicy and thick walled. And those will be more of a sugary sweet. These will just have a hint of fruity sweetness to them. The peppers, the plant is very, very productive. And like I said, we're picking these today. It is September 13th, 2023 to be exact. And we're coming out here to pick them because there's so many that we're ready. Let's show you how many are ready. That's what we just harvested. And the plants are loaded with a lot more green or chi green chilies. Let's look over in this side. So there's lots of green. So they'll go from a light green to like a darker green. Get some purple splotching on them. That's why they're called ahi kachucha purple splotched. And then finally go light red to dark red. Now, especially on this chili, you want to go, you want to make sure they're dark, dark red. That's when you're going to have the peak of flavor. Do not harvest these when they have a little bit of purple on them. Do not harvest these when these are light, light red or orange red. Harvest to them when they get dark red. Otherwise, you're not going to have the peak flavor and you're going to go, why did I grow this chili? It doesn't taste good. Well, because you didn't let it mature all the way to ripen. So the plants get about... Uh, four to five feet tall as you can see here four to five feet tall and uh, they're very productive as you can see I mean very very productive so again this comes from Puerto Rico I want to thank Julio Lopez for sharing them there's other ahi cachuchas on Puerto Rico that are a little bit different in shape and size I have not grown them so I don't I don't know anything about them so you can probably find Julio Lopez from Puerto Rico on Facebook if you're interested in growing other types of cachuchas. This is the Ahi Cachucha Purple Splotched. And this is Jim Duffy from Refining Fire Chilies. You all take care now.